James Lights Out Tony is the undefeated IBS super middleweight champion. His presence dominates that division. Roy Jones Jr. is also an unbeaten champion, whose contrasting style presents Tony's greatest challenge. When they meet in two weeks, it will be in the rich tradition of some of the greatest middleweight fights ever. In 1948, champion Rocky Graziano took on the Man of Steel, Tony Zale, for the third time. And for the third time, it was a brutal slugfest. Challenger Zale KO'd the Rock in round three to regain the coveted crown. The 50s were the decade of Sugar Ray Robinson, but constantly in his shadow was the raging bull, Jake LaMotta. In their sixth and final meeting, Robinson held on to his title with a 13th round TKO. Six years later, Robinson met welterweight champion Carmen Basilio. The smaller Basilio shocked the boxing world with a split decision victory over the man considered pound for pound the greatest fighter ever. For Roy Jones Jr., the same challenge now looms, stepping up in class to take on one of the best fighters alive. Tony is the fighter that, you know, to me, he's the fighter really to beat because, for me, because people have been for the longest time labeling him as my greatest opposition. I knew I could be him because I knew I'm the best in this business. Therefore, uh, I think the fight will elevate to be one of the greatest fights of all time. And Roy Jones is old enough to remember those great ones in the 80s. The eight-minute war between marvelous Marvin Hagler and Thomas Hitman Hearns, with Hagler finishing off Hearns in three. Then in 1987, Sugar Ray Leonard's improbable comeback after a three-year layoff from the ring. He won a 12-round split decision to take Hagler's title in what may have been the greatest upset in middleweight boxing history. Tony knows the champion is always a marked man, but he is intensely driven and welcomes anyone who dares to take his shot. Challenges. People who think they're better than me, that motivates me. Roy Jones thinks he's better than me, I'm motivated, and I tell him to get busy. Tony's style is punctuated by finishing power, but at work he is a skilled craftsman, deceptively hard to hit even while out punching opponents. Roy Jones, conversely, begins with speed, quick hands, quick feet, a dazzling style that ignites a fierce power of his own. The man's got speed. See, speed is power. Uh, so power, you're boxing a guy that's, that's got a lot of speed. You got to take his legs away from him. How do you take his legs away? You go to his body. So you kill the body, the head to die. But everybody assumes that Roy is going to run, uh, but that's not going to be the fight. It's going to be a very tactical, very good fight. It's going to be tactical, and uh, if Tony makes a mistake, he's going to pay for it. 1994, the next great middleweight showdown. I'm definitely the best fighter in the world, and Roy is trying to be, so and this is fight everybody's wanted to see for the last two years, and now that it's finally happened, it's going to be exciting. You know, everybody's going to want to see this fight. The one of this fight would be pound pound, no doubt, the best in the world today. It's not just a title. Uh, the IBF Super Middleweight Championship that they're fighting about, but it's that supreme accolade of who is the best fighter of this era. Roy Jones Jr. against James Tony, November 18 on pay-per-view. Gil, are the elements there in terms of style for an exciting fight? Oh, it has to be an exciting, great fight. Uh, Roy Jones is a super talented, unorthodox fighter. He defies the basic, but he's so dangerous in that first round. I've seen a few of his fights, and the first time these guys get hit with his quick left hook in that first round, you can see them. They're so surprised. My God, what was that? And that's, uh, that's very, very dangerous in the early round. What about Tony? Tony, is a, he's become a real solid professional, does not defy the basics. He knows what it takes to, to win a fight. This fight gets past the fourth round. I think uh, Tony will be in command. All right. Larry, are we overhyping the significance of the bout? Well, I'm sad to say and glad to say all the hype is true. <laughs> this is a fight that fight fans have really been looking forward to. It is the biggest fight in the middleweight divisions since Hagler and Leonard and the biggest fight among undefeated young champions since Leonard and Hearns. I think that uh, the way that James Tony has fought in his recent fights, he has a chance to go down as one of the better middleweights since the era of Sugar Ray Robinson. But if there's anybody out there that can beat him in this at this weight, 
it's the guy he's going to be fighting in that fight. Nice things for both of you to say about the two fighters. I hope they appreciate it because they've both been listening live. As they join us now from opposite ends of the country, Roy Jones Jr. in New York City, James Tony, the champion who is in Los Angeles. And James, I'll start with you. It's been reported that you've closed your training camp in the past few weeks gotten into a surly mood and given your past history that causes people to bring up the subject of weight what's the story are you struggling again to get down to 168 pounds i feel good i'm in great shape i'm ready and um that's all i got to say everybody will see how my weight is on november 17th why'd you close your training camp because i was one to i got tired of everybody being around being in my way and so i had to kick them out so i had my privacy and had my room my space all right, relax and occupy your space for a second while we talk to Roy. Roy, what about the subject of weight for you? You're moving up from 160 to fight James at 168 pounds, where he has been living for the past year, year and a half, and a lot of people think that might be a mistake. What about the extra eight pounds? Uh, that lets you know that I evidently think that I'm a bad man. Anytime you can go to somebody's weight to where they've been living all this time and still know that you can take over, then that's got to let you know that you have a lot of confidence in yourself. A lot of people seem to see this fight as a battle between your speed and James Tony's punching power. Some people, on the other hand, see it as a battle between your punching power and James's boxing ability. Are you, Roy, the boxer or the puncher in this fight? I'm actually both, but that just goes to show you how well of a fight, uh, how well of a matchup this really is. Because some people, like you say, look at my speed and his power. Other people look at my power and his speed. So. There are two complete fighters that they're looking at, and that always creates a very big explosion. How do you see that subject, James? Are you the boxer or are you the puncher against Roy Jones? I'm both. I can do it all. Like I said, I'm a complete fighter. I can do it. I can box. I can punch. I can fight going forward. I can fight backwards. So like I said, everybody will see November 18th that I'm the best fighter in the world. You haven't exactly said the nicest things about Roy Jones in private. It is well known in the sport that you don't think a great deal of him personally. Exactly what is it you dislike about Roy? Well, like I said, he's coming up, he, he stepping up to challenge me. Anybody challenge me, guys get dogged out. That's my job. You know, I'm not going to say if somebody challenge me, going to say, oh, he's a nice guy and all that. I'm not going to do that. A and man challenging me, he's going to get dogged out. What about you, Roy? Anybody who come into the ring against you got to get dogged out too? Nah, you don't got to get dogged out. You just got to get taught a lesson. How are you going to teach him a lesson? Tell us what's going to happen in the fight. That, that's all I can do. I got to go out there he and do what I got to do to teach that lesson. He can't. Can nobody teach me a lesson? I'm the teacher, baby. <laughs> I'm the we'll teacher. We'll see coming to 18. 18. I'm breaking you we'll up. We'll see coming to 18. I'm breaking you up. We'll see coming to 18. That's all I got to say. Breaking you up. We'll see coming to 18. Fight. I'm your Huckleberry. That's just what I'm looking for. He's a track That's just my game. That's He's just, just my game. game. That's just my game. That's just my game. That's just my game. I'm knocking your punk ass up. All like right, said, gentlemen. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> we understand. Bring it on. I'm about to shoot you down. Bring it on. All right. We hear you. Thanks very much, Roy Jones Jr. and James Tony. We appreciate your time, and we'll look forward to the hostilities, and they will be. Trust me, genuine hostilities on the night of November 18, pay-per-view from here at the MGM Grand. So that's what's happening next in the sport of boxing. Now we turn.